This hearing is entitled UNRWA Exposed, Examining the Agency's Mission and Failures. This hearing will take a closer look into the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, or UNRWA, and address serious concerns raised regarding the UN agency and its policies funded by the American taxpayer. The world was horrified when the Hamas terrorists, with the support of other Palestinian men, women, and children, raided houses, kibbutz, schools, concerts, and kindergartens to kill, capture, rape, or torture any Jew that they could find on October 7th. As the dust settles, and as we put together the pieces of what enabled such barbaric atrocities, we are getting a picture of failed UN policies that have been accumulating for the last seven decades in the Gaza Strip. I want to pause for a moment and say that thankfully, at least in part, it appears that the Biden administration has realized the folly of funding UNRWA. I'm concerned the administration is playing a shell game with us, however, while the Biden administration announced on January 26 that it would return to President Trump's policy of not funding UNRWA for a period of time, it does appear as though they may have waited to make this announcement until after they allowed for a disbursement of tens of millions of dollars to go out to UNRWA on or before January 24th. And if that's the case, it should be considered outrageous. Let me be clear that we are examining UNRWA because the agency directly and indirectly supported Hamas and other terrorist organizations in multiple different ways. First of all, UNRWA takes the talking points from Hamas and broadcasts them to the world. When all of the so-called journalists took the lie that Israel bombed the Al-Ali hospital, UNRWA, an official UN agency, pulled the casualty number from the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. In fact, to this day, UNRWA continues to parrot the numbers put out by the Hamas affiliates without taking a single grain of salt on who puts them out in the first place. Second, wherever you see UNRWA facilities, including schools in Gaza, you are almost guaranteed to find tunnels, rocket launchers, and weapon storages. During Israel's incursion into Gaza, Israel Defense Forces uncovered a variety of rifles and ammunition hidden underneath UNRWA institutions. If you think those are just a coincidence, this brings me to another point. UNRWA employees are actively involved in calling to wipe out the only Jewish homeland on earth. We've seen footage and evidence of UNRWA teachers and staff praising and celebrating the October 7th attack on social media, referring to the attack as an unforgettable, glorious morning and a splendid sight. We read reports that at least 12 UNRWA employees directly participated in the attack. Let me say that one more time. We read reports that at least 12 UNRWA employees directly participated in the attack. In fact, intelligence reports indicate that as many as 10% of UNRWA workers have direct links to Hamas and Palestinian Islamic jihadists. While all of these are taking place, what does UNRWA not do? You can go to UNRWA's very active X, formerly known as Twitter, and find little to no mention of Hamas. Not a single word of Hamas stealing U.S. taxpayer-funded food, medicine, or fuel. Not a single statement to condemn Hamas for the hostages it continues to hold. Not a single mention of how Hamas has created the devastating situation for the people of Gaza. It is clear that UNRWA would never use its platform to speak out against Hamas because it is in cahoots with Hamas. At this point, you could say that when UNRWA schools are not teaching the Palestinian children to hate Jews, these schools are used to hide and fire rockets at Israeli civilians, all using our tax dollars. Make no mistake, the attacks on October 7th did not happen in a vacuum. The sickness on display from UNRWA is rooted in something deeper within its structure and mission. It's rooted in the double standard the world applies for them, from their definition of refugee to the hatred they teach to Palestinian children from UNRWA schools. 
The barbaric hatred that we see from Hamas as they butchered, raped Jews on October 7th is in part the result of a Frankensteinian monster of the United Nations agency that the United Nations created. And the United States remains the top donor of that agency. The American people deserve to know why their tax money enabled the deadliest attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust. Again, most of this is not new information. Many watchdog organizations have been warning us of been under for years, and some of them are represented by our witnesses. I am grateful for their attendance and for their bringing us their essential insight so that we could try to change the field, the paradigm on the ground that has been taking place with the American taxpayer's dime. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.